welcome to the vlog guys and today is a special day I will be traveling to Nairobi join me along this journey it's gonna be fantastic just touched down in London of Africa you notice I changed clothes cuz it's kind of cold here but yeah I'm, I'm about to pick up my luggage and then head over we're gonna start exploring the city so here I am at the rooftop of my Airbnb overlooking the beautiful Nairobi like look at this this is a beautiful city man so modern look at that and by the way I'm only in the 11th floor right now and look at that I love this city check this out so that's like a almost 180 view of this city I just had breakfast dropped off my luggage and now as you can see I'm walking in Nairobi I'm in the Westland zone it's lit it's so beautiful it's so modern um, yeah let me show you around trying to change some money it's a hustle in the center I'm about to enter the city market and see what they have over there I think it's mostly food but we'll see so Nairobi city market is the perfect place to buy souvenirs for friends or family uh, it's located right in downtown Nairobi by the way the best way to get around Nairobi is through Ubers Occasionally you will be harassed by, I will call them brokers because they don't really own the shops. Essentially they're middlemen. So they'll quote you a price and then after you pay, they will pay the shopkeeper a much cheaper price and keep the profits. I'm outside the mosque right now. This is the biggest mosque in Nairobi. It's called the Jamia Mosque. And today is Eid. So... As you can imagine, everyone is out here praying and getting ready to celebrate. Maybe Nyama Choma, they'll cut a goat or something, who knows. Taking a order, order. Very convenient. Might lose my hat though. But hopefully not. Sometimes it's better than the Uber because no waiting time. This is not my first time in Nairobi. Uh, I've been here before, like about 10 years ago. And when I was here, there were not as many. I don't know, look at these high rises. Like everywhere you look, there's like a 12 story building. It's crazy. But then at the same time, it's like they're building upwards. Because on the other hand, like, it's so underdeveloped like in the in the the roads not the roads but the sidewalk there's no sidewalk it, it actually doesn't exist but hey i give them props when it comes to the the buildings as well as the the overpass the overpass saved me like i remember the traffic was crazy but anyways It's a lot of chaos. Everyone is just loitering, so many people. But okay. It's crazy. But you gotta love this city, man. It's so alive. Everything is just charged up. Nairobi, man. They call it the London of Africa for a reason. Kenya it used to be a British colony so they have a lot of elements that are super British I just saw a fish and chips place 
I might check it out, but I heard they have some really good masala chips. Chips meaning fries. So that should be interesting. Because it's a thing. You know, like Kenya is a lot of, like a big Asian population. And so a lot of their cuisine is mixed in with Indian. So you guys know chicken masala. Now they make french fries masala. Good stuff. I got referred to this place called Kenchik. And supposedly they have the best chicken. We have sausages, we have bajia, as well as chicken and samosas. You know I'm big on parks. And there's a lot of people, man. There might be, you know, elections are coming soon in this country. And Kenya is a political country, man. They, they like their, their leaders. You know, everyone is a devout, overzealous person when it comes to political things. So this campaign's going on all over. So right here is the KICC which is the Kenyan International Conference Center. You could ride up to the top. Um, there's a fee for that, but once you get up there, uh, amazing 360 view of Kenya, Nairobi. So we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna go in right now. I almost got hit by five cars, so I'm still alive. Let's go do it. Hey, check this out. See, right behind me over there is the first president of Kenya, um, Jomo Kenyatta. And actually the current president right now is Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the son of this guy. And yeah, he's a legend here. And yeah, anyways, let's go upstairs and, you know, see what's going on over here. The Kenya International Convention Center is an icon and a landmark in Nairobi. Here I am at the elevator. It's 27 floors plus the rooftop. It goes pretty fast, this elevator. As you can see, it's like 24, 25. Pretty much like seconds. 27 so floor. You heard it. All right, let's check it out. See, I gotta walk up the stairs again. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, good, Welcome. good. Thanks. Yes. See, we just hit 28, and now essentially 29. Check this out. Skyline of Nairobi. I think this is the south of the city because that goes all the way to the airport. You know what I mean? That's the bypass, obviously. And then Yaya Center, um, um, Kilimani area. Really cool. Very nice, like luxurious place to live. This other side is Westlands. That's where we're staying. Uh, also, a really cool place. If you look there, it's all forest. It's the Karura Forest, I believe. Beautiful city. Nice and sunny today. Still chilly though. Just stopping by for lunch. Um, we got the chicken biryani with rice. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be delicious. I'll rate it out of ten after I have a taste. You know, I'm I'm a harsh critic. Easily a 10. 10 out of 10. I'm a rice, I'm an Indian, I'm a spicy guy. You got me. 10 out of 10. Yo, up in the Maasai market, trying to pick out some good things that I could take as souvenirs for my friends. Lots of cool stuff, especially bags, especially sandals, especially blankets and like arts and crafts anyways 
Let me show you around. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. So after the Maasai market, we met up with friends and we had a Nyam Chom. Nyam Choma is barbecued goat. Nyam Choma is one of the most nightlife centric foods you can have in Kenya. Anyway, stay tuned for the rest of the Kenya vlogs. We'll be traveling to Maasai Mara next.